Okay, I'm here today to introduce everybody to my uh, water power trommel. As you can see, the trommel in the first sluice sits on top of the second sluice. Second sluice has the wheels and the handle. And uh, you can carry that together and the pump sits on the flare. And it's, uh, it's good enough. You can uh, easily get it from the truck or wherever down to where you're going to be working. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to start setting this up. We'll show you how it sets up. It's pretty quick and easy. And then we're going to run some dirt through it. Okay, now with the trommel on the ground, the first thing I'm going to do is set up the center section here, this end. I'm going to set this at about 12 inches. That'll determine the slope of the last loose. And... Uh, give us enough clearance at the, the far end for debris and then we're going to raise the legs up on the front end to where I got this uh, bullseye level and I got it set I'll probably set around uh, 10 or 11 degrees it makes for quick and easy setup I'll set it up level side to side and get my slope right and then by loosening this lock bolt, one on each side, I'll be able to adjust the slope of my trommel to whatever I like. As you can see on the small sluice, the 8-inch sluice, there's plenty of room here for hoses. You can also stack this with uh, whatever you like when you're moving around. And then the trommel will sit on top of it and it's out of the way. Kind of pretty much set up now. I got the I got the lower sluice, the 12 inch sluice, less aggressive mat. Uh, it's around seven degrees or so. And then um, I need a little more matting in here, but uh, I just haven't got it now. And here's the hoses for hookup. I lifted the trommel up. That can be adjusted as you operate for what you're doing. I got the narrow eight inch more aggressive mats. And it's setting 10, 12 degrees, 11 degrees. It's a good place to start. And then uh, on this side at the hookup, don't need it to operate, but when I was building it, I made this uh, pressure indicating and fitting. And then I'll hook my holes in there. That's just, You don't need it to operate it, but I just built that when I was designing this whole thing. And then uh, here I have a 12 foot washer hose. It'll connect on, on this fitting here. Makes it uh, easy for cleanups. But when you're done at the end of the day, you can hose everything off. Got water, may as well use it. Here you'll see the three valves. The center valve operates the water wheel in here. I got a water wheel in here. The big inch and a half, it operates the uh, the trough flow. The water from the water wheel goes through and then it runs back into the, uh, the, the uh, hopper. And then back here we have the washer bar valve and uh, it operates the water. I got the holes drilled to, to blow through uh, these holes in the, uh, the drum. The drum is made sticking out. And I can, uh, I can put a bucket under here, what I'm going to do today. Just a bucket with holes in it to catch the, uh, the bigger rocks. You can also buy, uh, I think Gorilla makes a wagon. And I'm going to grab one of them. Maybe tomorrow I'll go to Princess Auto or something and grab a wagon. The rocks will come out of there because remember what you put in the hopper has to come out of the, uh, the end of the drum. And the rocks will run, can run into this wagon, be taken off to the side 10, 20 feet, whatever you like, dumped, and uh, easily keep this going without having to stop and shovel again. And where I live, we have to catch the suspended solids. So regulation asks us to uh, put a catch basin here, catch the solids, and then when it's full, just pull it to the side and dump it. So they just don't want the suspended solids to run back into the water, so that's easy enough to do. So, uh, 
as you can see with the center about a foot off the ground the, the wheels are off the ground and don't interfere with the operation when you're you're running so I'll hook up the hose get the pump going get some dirt going and uh, show you all how this works the only real daily maintenance thing we got to worry about is just inside there I don't know if you can even see it there's a chain that runs around the drum it comes through a planetary gearbox here reduces down and there's a chain down inside here I'll throw a little bit of uh, uh, chain you can buy that chain loop for motorcycles bicycles and such I'll spray a little of that on there once a day or so just preventative uh, help keep things going because it is wet in here and we're ready to roll so I'll get it uh, I'll finish getting the water pump hooked up I'll grab the uh, spray loop and we'll get this rolling okay, now with the water running I can open this wide open I'll let that one run wide open I can adjust this flow to what I need as long as I've got uh, enough water turning the drum quick enough and then with the last valve here we'll turn on the wash bar and then uh, as you can see here the water from the water wheel turns back into the hopper and then we can adjust our hopper flow to accommodate what we're feeding inside you can see that pretty good water flow through the uh, spray bar and everything will come out clean this isn't like you see a lot of toy trommels out there where guys are washing the rocks in the hopper I'll, uh, I'll add a video when my son was with me one day two of us shoveling as fast as we could this thing handled it with no issues so uh, yeah we'll get good going I have a Honda high pressure pump. Right now we're running at about 32, 33 psi. And uh, yeah, we'll get feeding this thing and see how she does.
When first done to this country a stranger I came Pick and shovel on my back, no money to my name, no money to my name I landed in old Juno, Seattle down the line I boated across the channel where I worked the Treadwell mine Oh, I worked the Treadwell mine Well, there was hard times in the open pit, 1800 down One day you'd make two dollars and the next you glory bound Oh, the next you glory bound So I dodged the rocks from the sudden slides and I swam out of the flood in the rain and cold we dug for gold Through the water and the mud Oh, through the water and the mud So there's color in the eagle's eye And in the sun at the break of day But there ain't no color I could find To keep me on that pay Oh, to keep me on that pay Straight way through the wilderness to Fairbanks up the line And down the frozen Yukon in the year of 99 Oh, the year of 99 Now there's 20,000 of us here out on the beach at Nome And there ain't but one in 50 who can pay his way back home Oh, pay his way back home God find the snow blind trapper and help him on his way. God bless the drunken fiddler when he finds the time to play. And hear the words of the dying man left frozen in the cold. And pity the weary miner who's never found his gold. Oh, never found his gold. Well, I wished I was in Portland or some other seacoast town. I'd sail around this whole wide world and lay this cradle down, oh, lay this cradle down.